I started in racing uh, when I was about eight years old uh, with my brother. Uh, my dad took me, me and him to go watch our uncle who was doing go-karts for fun. And he just goes, oh, you guys want to try this? So we started in go-karting at the lowest level possible. Um, and I think it was my third race in when I ended up winning. Uh, and it was just awesome. It was a great feeling, just being competitive. He kept going and once he won his first race, it's like, you know, it was the star lit up in his eyes and then he never looked back. My dad's coming, he's coming to all the races. Uh, you know, he's a big fan. He's the one who got me into it. The first year in uh, Formula BMW, he, I kept saying, hey, you know, why don't you try this? And he goes, okay, now it's time that you relax. It's not go-karting. We're in cars. Just sit back, relax. All I was doing was I had to give him confidence. You know, if he was having a bad day, cheer him up. Set him on a different road. Hey, calm down, relax. Give him his space. He all. You know, he'll tell you, you know, he'll put his hand up, he'll do little motions, hey, back off, leave me alone, give me my space, I need my time alone, and I just give it to him. My wife has it tougher than me, you know, he won't allow her around the tracks. <laughs> you know, she came once and he had a bad race day, okay. You, you, uh, before mom You're comes, <laughs> before mom comes, she's got to get permission from him. Every, after every race, it's probably about an hour later, I'm getting a call from the grandparents, I'm getting a call from the uncle, you know, getting called from everybody, you know, congratulating me or, you know, kind of consoling with me if, if you know, something bad happened. But, you know, it's just phenomenal how, how close and how connected we all are. Uh, right here is my great-grandmother. Uh, she only speaks Italian, so it's kind of hard to communicate with her a little bit. It's my Uncle Louie. How are you, buddy? Great supporter. Great that supporter. The best supporter. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother and sister here. Actually, and both of them did race. Uh, they race go-karts. Uh, it's actually my sister's 16th birthday today, so <laughs> it's a good, a good day for her. Okay. This is my grandmother, Mickey. My grandfather, no Mike, <laughs> is my aunt, Laura. <laughs> Great supporter as well, family, everybody is. Oh my God, I'm chewing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very proud of him. And I, al I always <laughs> worry when he's on the track. <laughs> That's my biggest worry, but I love it. Uh, this is my other uncle, Vito. David, we're all <laughs> proud of you so far. <laughs> now win Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> we, need, we need a first place, eh? Being at home, you know, I go to the gym, I train. The family's off with the family business, you know, kind of home alone. So, you know, I just like one day I figured, you know what, let me just do something fun. And, you know, I turned on the Food Network and I just, you know, I kind of fell in love with the cooking, the whole, the whole thing about it. It, uh, you know, it's really relaxing, kind of gets my mind off of things. Last year I cooked the, the family a whole meal. You know, I said, don't worry about anything, I'm gonna cook it all from scratch. And, you know, I built everything. I made desserts, I made dinner, and I made everything from scratch. It wasn't, I went and bought it, you know, I actually made a, the best thing I think was the dessert. It was basically like an apple pie, you know, and I got the apples, I, I got the cinnamon, I got everything, you know, boiled it all together. I actually made a chocolate caramel syrup from scratch. Oh, it was by far one of the best meals I ever had. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everybody uh, for supporting me this weekend. Uh, I hope it's going to be a good event. Uh, I know having you guys there is definitely going to boost my confidence and uh, look forward to Saturday when you're all there in your nice team shirts. It almost brings tears to my eyes because to have them there to, to be supporting me, it's, it's phenomenal. I feel like a superhero. But he's Mr. Uh, Iron Man goatee. Yeah, I, I kind of stole this from Iron Man. Um, you know, I get a lot of comments, you know, the Tony Stark comments, which is fine, you know. I think that's one of the goals. If I do make it to IndyCar, I think the next thing is the GQ magazine cover. You know, that's, <laughs> that's up there. <laughs> just for the rest of the season, just looking at getting top fives. Um, you know, a podium here and there is definitely welcome to come, but uh, you know, just, just staying in the top fives, making sure we finish, you know, the rest of the season, finish all the races, and, uh, you know, just staying out of trouble is going to be, I think, the, the, main, the main goal. You know, thank God that, you know, with the family and everything is behind him 100%, we can support him, you know, and get uh, his dream come true. Hopefully, you know, we can see him in Indy next year. If we can, you know, like he said, a 500 race would be nice next year. And, uh, you know, it's all up to him. But I'm a one in a million because I got that. Shine, shine, shake my body.